Hi, hello, I am the Cyber Earth Guru. Thank you for watching. So we're back here in the garage and I am going to do a follow up on the QTEC 8 inch joiner. Got a lot of questions on the video, so I really appreciate everyone watching it and I want to answer some of the questions in this video. First and foremost, biggest question I got was really around the bed. How did it perform? What issues was I having? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so as you know, I got the Teflon bed uh, because that's really the only option with the 8 inch joiner if I remember the website properly. Uh, you can only get the aluminum bed with the 6 inch joiner. And I have been having some issues with this bed in particular. Material doesn't seem to glide across it like I was hoping. Um, in fact, the wider the material, the harder it is to get it to move, especially when it gets flatter. Uh, the more surface area contacting the bed, um, I'm having issues getting the material moving across the cutter head and that's actually causing some unevenness in the cutting because I'm having difficulty applying, applying uh, constant pressure. So what we're going to do is we're going to run some boards that I have over there through the jointer. Uh, I'm going to do a couple experiments and then I'm going to wax the bed and see if that changes the outcome. So let's go ahead and get on with it. So you can see the finish here, super smooth, really nice, does a great job. A little bit of, just a little bit of issues here um, and a couple of knots. I don't know if that was me and my speed or whatnot. And then I'll switch over and show you the cherry. Hopefully it's in focus. Let's see. All right, so here's the cherry, same thing. Very, very smooth. Very pleased with the finish. Um, okay, so although the jointer is doing a great job getting it nice and smooth, um, I don't know if you saw when I was pushing, a lot of extra energy I had to push with these really wide boards. Um, in fact, I actually had to take the paddle here and stick it on the end and kind of dig the paddle into the end and push down. Now, I find that a little disconcerting when I'm using the jointer. Um, I feel like I might slip uh, and you know kind of <laughs> push my hand into the into the cutting blade. I know I can make a, a different uh, handle here with a little hook on the end. It'll you know keep that pressure uh, down and forward at all times, but it's still a lot of lot of energy to push it through. I don't know if it's the surface or not. Um, but what we're going to do is we are going to uh, wax this, let it dry. I'll polish it smooth. Uh, as best as I can and then we're going to try to joint this side of the board. Now I know you're not supposed to joint both sides of the board because um, it won't create a nice parallel finish uh, but that's not what we're trying to do here. I can run this through the planer later um, and I'll run both boards through and just see from my own anecdotal evidence if it's any easier to move or not. All right. Get one of these uh, micro fiber cloths to clean this off. This one's got some schmutz on it already so now when you're doing this, you just want to be careful not to hit the cutter head here. Uh, this thing is sharp, as you would expect. So what I'm also going to do is take a little bit of uh, like 409 or something and get some streaks on here. Looks like there's some 
pencil marks or something from something I've been cleaning there. Uh, all right, so I'm going to get the uh, get the wax on here and then uh, let it dry. So I have min wax, uh, what is known as the paste finishing wax. Uh, it's what I've been using to coat the, the table saw and pretty much all the power tools here. It's kind of the gold standard, well, any paste wax really, but the min wax is the only one I can find locally. So, and for whatever reason, all of my claws have uh, schmutz on them. Okay, so what we'll do is we will let this dry for about 15 or 20 minutes and then I'll come in and I'll buff it off uh, and we'll run the boards through again and see if that helps at all. Um, if it doesn't, then I don't know, you know, I guess I'll, I'll suck it up or maybe I'll reach out to the manufacturer. We'll see. All right, be back in 10 or 20. So another one of these uh, microfiber cloths that I'm going to polish with. This is fresh out of the bag, so we'll see how it goes. It's interesting, as I'm polishing here, you can hear it's rougher here than it is over here um, significantly, but I'm getting a little bit of a sheen here from the wax, so I might have to uh, go over this again. Yeah, it's much rougher over here than it is over here. I wonder if that's because I've been running the board through, kind of through the center. Well, we'll see. What I'll note is, so the wax is not really, it's buffing, but it's not really coming off. Um, I think a second coat might be in order here. All right, so I finished buffing the bed here, and I don't know if you can hear that. It's a lot rougher here than it is in the center. And the entire outfeed table just seems more smooth than the infeed table, especially uh, along here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another coat of the wax, let it dry for this time really only 10 or 15 minutes, and then uh, buff it out again and see how it goes. So let's do that. <laughs> Okay, so here we are. We have applied the second coat of wax and I am going to uh, polish it now. So let's get out our green cloth. Okay, let's uh, don the safety gear <laughs> and uh, run a couple boards through and see what happens. Wow, okay, 
So look, I don't know what I was expecting. Um, I don't know what I was expecting. Uh, I really thought that the wax would not make a huge bit of difference, uh, but it made just a world, a world of difference. So the wood glides across this finish panel like it's like it's ice, like it's like an ice skater skate on the ice. Um, I could probably use a little bit of finish on this side, um, like I mentioned. Um, it's not quite as smooth as this side, but I gotta tell you, it made a huge bit of difference. I, you know, to me, thinking, hey, Teflon anti-stick, um, uh, I just, I just assumed it would be super smooth and buttery, and it wasn't. And adding the, the wax here has made just a tremendous difference, and uh, not, not only on how easy it is to use, I gotta say, just, just feeling it, um, it's about the same smoothness because uh, you know the cutter is doing all of the work really but uh, the the effort to get it across the cutter head was just so much less I, I, I you know I can't <laughs> I can't explain how much less it is because you know it's video and it's not like you know, Harry Wonka smell a vision um, or cyber reef guru push a vision I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trademark that push a vision. Uh, but it was so much easier to send this board across the cutter head here. Um, very much better. So, end of the day, let's talk about this. All right, so the Teflon bed. Uh, not thrilled with it on day one. Not thrilled with it two, three months, four months in. Uh, until I waxed it. Uh, I gotta tell you, uh, you know, obviously it's been waxed now for a whopping eight minutes, but these are big boards, boards I would have struggled with tremendously uh, with the original the surface. Uh, putting wax on it really kind of, really does make it glide. Uh, I don't know what to tell you, other than I think this is gonna be the way to go. I'll probably clean this down one more time and put another coat of wax on the back side here. Uh, again, I don't know why you can hear, or not hear, versus here, um, the difference in how much more smooth it is. I might uh, scrape this down a little bit because now there's uh, wood chips all over it. But the waxing, I think, has worked very well. Um, I haven't tried out the fence, although the fence has never really been an issue here. But uh, Okay, so this is the follow-up to the Cube Tech. 8 inch Teflon bed jointer. Uh, again, initial impressions from months ago. Thumbs up on the cutter. It is amazing. Um, the bed, been an issue since day one. Waxing it seems to fix this. So, hey, two thumbs up. A total double Fonzie on this. Uh, the, it, the, the cut finish is amazing. Um, it does a great job. It's got great adjustments. A little finicky on this knob here. We talked about this in the last video. If you haven't seen the last video, I will link it. Um, or link it here, link it there. I'm going to link it. And we'll go from there. Um, I will try to find a new home for this, or uh, should I say the permanent home for this, with a dedicated dust collection if I can do that. But um, overall, it works very well. So there you go. That's it. That's the follow up. Um, wax the bed. That's all you need to know. Uh, I will wholeheartedly recommend this with the wax bed. <laughs> I, again, on the fence, I think it does a great job uh, cutting, but the fence or the the bed here was a little bit of an issue. So, uh, with the waxed bed, I think it's good to go. Definitely, definitely, highly recommend it for what I'm using it for the purposes that it is serving for me. Your purposes may be different. Anyway, hey, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you for following along. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Again, the last video got a lot of questions. Hopefully this answers some of them. 
Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up as always. If you don't like it, I would appreciate a thumbs up anyway. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this video, if you like any of my videos, or if you just want to subscribe for what the heck, go for it. Um, ring the bell, be notified of new content, very important these days, and don't forget to follow me on the social media. I've also started adding some links to the equipment that I have here in the garage. If you want to go ahead and use those, um, it occurred to me that I actually got a couple questions about what my uh, my gear was, so I, I you know I decided to start putting those in as links as well. I will link to this guy in this video. Um, again, I got it on sale, but it's still it's an amazing deal. It's an amazing piece of machinery for what it is. Um, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to be inspired.